Hey guys, so how many times did you actually thought like uh, how can I get the data outside of this Abex in terms of like uh, history data, um, data about the problems, uh, some old events. So you want to get this outside of the Zabbix and use in some third party tools, not because like Zabbix would be bad, but uh, simply because there are some third party tools in your uh, company and you want to, uh, let's say, move all the data from all the sources inside it and Zabbix might be just one of them. So typically like, uh, I guess the first ideas that might come to your mind, like you can always grab a data through the Zabbix API, which is absolutely true, but uh, <clears throat> let's think like how much effort will it take? Like if you want to really just get all the history data that you have inside of Zabbix, uh, outside of it to some third party tools, but you really don't want to write any API scripts or whatever else that will do the job because just too complicated. So what could be the second option? You can always get information outside of the database, right? Uh, Zabbix uh, is running on a SQL database, which is uh, relational and, and all the configurations and all the all the history data is stored inside a specific tables. So it's not a problem at all to just uh, select uh, to the file and, and you're done. But the thing is that uh, API is complicated. Uh, database might be easy, but again, we don't want to put a load on our database with some third party tasks. So we want to keep it uh, clean and tidy and uh, make sure that only Zabbix server is uh, actually doing some stuff inside a database as writing the data and reading some information. So the functionality itself is like extremely easy and um, the configuration part will take just a minute but uh, somehow this is again not very widely used uh, perhaps uh, it was missed by some of the Zabbix users and uh, you might just not know about such functionality but what I have here is uh, just like usually in the latest videos it is a CentOS 8 machine uh, I have a Zabbix 5.0 something installed from the packages with the front ends SL Linux off firewall off and you have a front end here <coughs> So basically, if I want to enable the real-time export, then I have to simply open the configuration file of the Zabbix in the Etsy Zabbix, Zabbix server.conf. And here, where we have all of those parameters, we need to find just two of them that we're actually going to use, the export directory and export file size. And that's it. So basically, export directory, just specify where do you want to Zabbix to write the real-time data which is being processed by the server at the current moment. Uh, so let's make it TMP and export file size is uh, just for the file rotation. So for each of the processes that will be responsible to write a history data and all other data to the file, uh, there will be additional file created. So let's say if we have four history syncers that uh, each of those are responsible to uh, gather the data from the cache and populate it inside the database, then there will be four files, one for each history syncers and so on also for the other processes. So if we want these file to rotate, then we must specify the export file size, let's say, um, I will make it 50 megs. And as soon as the file will reach, um, the file will reach 50 megs. And as soon as the file will reach 50 megs, then the file will rotate and the old one will have a, a note.old and a new file will be created, which again will start to grow till the 50 megs. So that's all the configuration that we need to do in the configuration file. So right now we can just write quit. And all we need to do is, uh, so I can show you right now, um, in the TMP I have just, uh, couple of default files, temporary files, and I will restart systemctl restart Zabbix server after I've modified a config file. And now I can check again, see there are uh, four files for the history syncers. So history syncer one, two, three, four, one for the main process, four again by the history sinkers because history sinkers are also responsible to uh, calculate problems and, and uh, basically check the triggers 
then the main process for the problems and the task manager and about the trends and each of these files is getting populated in real time so if uh, I'm not sure how quick will it grow in in my example because I have just one agent but let's try to tail uh, tail TMP history history sinker one JSON and uh, there we go we have some some of the information I will click enter and uh, I guess in just a couple of the seconds yeah there we go we have a new files so all the message that we see here is uh, in a pure JSON format so I will do just control C and type less here so this is how it looks and we have absolutely all the information that might be required for those third-party tools to um, do some data analytics or visualization from the real-time data from our Zabbix like host is Zabbix server name of the host and we know that those are two things like if we would go to the front end um, host Zabbix server so host name and visible name is basically a name so Zabbix server groups is again Zabbix servers and we can see it here what else do we have applications item IDs uh, let's say in the items so that item from which um, no, let's say item ID 23620 name of that item is Zabbix value cash percentage usage the clock when we receive the value nanoseconds when we receive it and what was the actual value type uh, will be uh, dependent on the type of the information of the item so is it a numeric or an American sign float uh, text string uh, whatever else and that's it that's all you have to do these files will continue to grow if i will check right now um let's say problems then that most likely will be empty simply because uh, i don't have any problems generated currently on my system since it just has uh, basically one host and, and and that's it monitoring the local host but if you will implement this in the production then of course you can also uh, gather all the information about the current problems all the history data all the trends data that are calculated every hour and populated in any third-party tools that you want and this will be much better uh, let's say choice than uh, then try to get a data outside of the database directly or trying to create some uh, complicated API calls or the scripts to gather this data because this just two parameters everything is happening in real time we are not putting any load on the Zabbix database and uh, all the uh, contents of the files are already structured as a JSON data which is like number one format to feed it in some other tools so yes uh, th that was it like uh, super easy only two parameters if you have any questions as usually you can post them in the comments I will try to answer them if not even better but um, don't forget to click the like buttons uh, subscribe uh, that ring bell and, and, and yeah post some feedbacks in the comments and uh, definitely see you in the next video so for now thank you and uh, see you later goodbye